Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> to everybody. Of War. <laughs> Multiplayer featuring uh, myself as well as Quill, Mathis, and Aruba. Hey, everybody. Ow. Everybody's a uh, smart ass, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we're just having some fun. You were gone. All right, yeah. You're, that fun is officially sanctioned. <laughs> I thought you were about to say it's officially over. Yeah, no, that's also true. If you're Yemen, especially, your fun is over. <laughs> yeah, disband another cog. I keep picking up these cogs in naval battles. Just another Don't need cog right in the machine, man. That's all you are. Why can't I hold all these cogs? <laughs> Good try. <laughs> oh. Vagina Gar, really. I don't know if you're going to be able to ever expand, so just... Give up. It's okay. Oh, what Just let it happen. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Oh, right, Yemen. Pongu. Beset by rebels. Oh, no. Which part? I don't see any rebels in Yemen right now. They're on the, like, the northern... Northeastern coast. They have 27 stacks of rebels. Oh, Jesus. Like, we're near Muscat and stuff? Uh, yes. In Muscat. Uh, I see I see smoke. So, apparently, I can <laughs> see smoke across the ocean. See, smoke's usually a bad sign. All right, let's do it. I'm prepared. How long does it take for local autonomy to burn away? Oh, stability minus five rate. for breaking truce. Fuck. Hover, hover over your autonomy. I'm an idiot. On a province? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. If that's you're, not if you're, right. if you're at peace, it'll tell you minus point one. <sighs> right. And if you, so if I accept this event, that's five years to get rid of that. I'll just take the stability hit and then buy it back. Smart guy over here. I didn't actually declare war, but I didn't realize I had a truce that is four more years. Okay, so you didn't take the hit then. No, I didn't okay. take the stability hit, but that would have been bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's that's... a real shame because now's the right time, but oh well, it, it's clearly not actually the right time. <laughs> I have uh, I've beaten my army into the ground. I have 148 manpower. Wow! And uh, six out of 16 regiments. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, it's fine though. It's fine. No one's gonna attack me because I've got lots of vassals. Really, Malwa? I early pieced out of this war that I had going on with Pegu with the hope because uh, John Poor showed up. I was like, oh, I don't want to fight these, especially as I'm taking over uh, Champa. And I'm hoping they actually get cut down to size a little bit, and then I can go back and be like, sorry, I pieced out early. Uh, mm. Now that you have less tax base, you want to become diplovasalized? <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen. I think I'm just going to have to wait until our uh, royal marriage breaks and then go kick their butts. As you do. Sorry, I was too busy uh, building Earth ramparts to listen to what you were saying there. That reminds me. I got enough to build my last one. I only had to build two. Everything else started with Earth ramparts. I didn't have the tech, but I had <laughs> They're artifacts from a previous time. Some I have such came by. a hard time like conceptualizing that it's worth building them. Because I'm like, ah, 50 gold. I could use that for so many things. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, has but anyone? The uh, is a bit nice. And, has, has, have any of you guys ever used the Sally button? What is it? What is it called? Sortie. Wow. The sortie oh. button. Not yet. I haven't either. I was just thinking of that because you were talking about raising the fort level, which increases the size of the garrison. Mm hmm. It's uh, probably handy later. Someone's just like blanket sieging you with like one dude. Like, no, I don't think so, buddy. Boop. Yeah, we what might have do? to like the the garrison like exits and fights them. Yeah. Yeah. But if they okay. lose, they instantly lose the siege. That's interesting. So that's bad. I think it's going to be a mostly an anti-human button if they do try to blanket siege you, carpet siege you. Yeah. Sounds about right. It's going to be an anti-quill button. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's going to be a long time before the two of us have to anti each other. Yeah, I'm going to eat Northern Lion first. Good luck. So how are we going to resolve the series then if, like, one of That's us true. kills the other player. Just Come like, back as France. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that would be fine. Oh. You Once take someone over dies, me, we, might, we could just end it. 
I'll come back as the Mamluks. That's true. Yeah, it depends. Like, we have no Horizon, or no DLC on the Horizon that we know of. of I'd say it's probably at least four months before we'd be seeing any. Mm-hmm. I mean, we could just, like, end it if someone loses. Like, just decide, like, okay, that's good enough. But yeah, we could go right until the end as well. Yeah, right. Long series. Well, the last one turned out to be pretty long, too. Yeah. It was like, what, 105, 110? It was way up there. I don't know. I don't remember. I'm looking it up. 105 episodes, my friends. Yeah. 105 at 20 some minutes apiece. Wow. And we failed to celebrate episode 69. <laughs> Even though it was so the we comeback. Lost. It was like the we comeback like, episode. Exactly. We took like a month off for episode 68. <laughs> and then we just didn't even talk about it. We're just like, yeah. <laughs> We're too excited about other hey, stuff. Hey, everybody. Northern <laughs> Lion. <laughs> it's real funny. It is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I am being so pious. I have 100% piety. I'm the most pious... Sunni down here. Man, I barely have 50% religious unity right now. I have 100% because we convert the infidel. Well, it, it will be very soon. What is my mission anyway? It's because I got this nonsense Coptic religion. Military Tech 6, you bastards. What the hell, man? Yeah, slow down, man. This. Boom. Eat it, noobs. Or no boom. Well, Mawa's five, so it's not like I'm just alone over here. Actually, uh, Najd and Hayas are at five as well. So, uh, and Yemen just ticked up. <laughs> oh, I could have gone after him. Maybe it was worth the five stability. I'm not doing anything until I get manpower. Mawa's, I don't know why I'm afraid. Well, they're kind of big. I'm a little bit afraid of Mawa. But I could probably go to war with them and bring John Purr in. <laughs> all right with that. Uh, you look like you're in a pretty good position, man. I don't know why I'm afraid of Malwa. I just am. Is anyone uh, at they war? They have three allies. Yeah, I am. I'm oh, okay. So we could pop up to speed three, but so Nepal is completely Whoa. occupied by Tibetan patriots. Oh, <laughs> what? What? I have I have one score. Oh, I have one point. Damn. Welcome to the world. I dropped down. I was at 97 for a bit, but now I'm at 103. Oh wow, you crushed me in points now. Oh wait, I still don't have any. You talking about Is rank? Play? No, oh. no, no, placing. Yeah, oh, placing. What oh, about, oh, what about score? I got zero score. Aha! I win. Yeah, <laughs> I have one. <laughs> I have twenty-eight. Damn it! How about you, Ryan? What are you at? I'm at zero, but really? I'm. Oh, I just went up I'm to twenty-nine. Close to the top ten in and min. I am uh, top ten in military still. Everything else is not top ten. Top ten in military? That's crazy. I think I might be better than 162nd in military once I raise my uh, financing. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm currently 125th in military, but I'm 16th in admin. Hmm, I'm 14th. I'm <laughs> earning a slightly larger slice of zero than you. Oh, man. <laughs> England is transferring trade power into the Ivory Coast already. How are they doing that? They have 40, 40 trade power from transfers from traders downstream. This this node is weird. Really? You won't be my vassal? I have the war score for it, you bastards. Come on, start the annexation before you get the penalty because I annexed your friend. Oh, yeah. Where am I? 34. God, annexing feels really slow for some reason. I guess it's because it's only getting 10 per month. Yeah, it used to uh, be It used wait. to be that it would annex one base tax per month, and now it's 10 Diplo points per base tax, and you go at like two per month. So it's like a fifth as fast. I'm getting one per month. Yeah. This is one diplomatic power each month on this guy. Whoa, whoa, it's going to take whoa, whoa, you whoa. a long time. Pardon me. Uh, Just for small, a split second. I have problems. to pause. Hang on. Well, that ties up a diplomat for a really long time. Right. Man, I gotta get yeah. my embassy. Whoa. I think slower annexation is probably better for the game. But oh, okay. It was really nice when it went fast. Oh, that's a problem. What happened? 
I, I, I vassalized somebody and I didn't realize they were at war with somebody else, so I inherited mm. their war. Oh, yeah. I'm now at war with Gujarat, uh, Baluchistan, and Multan. Hey, if you just keep it up with Baluchistan, they're allied with Yemen. And we can, uh, you know, not actually collude, but, you know, hey, we can maybe collude a little bit. <laughs> I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> Dirty little colluder. That... Hey, if he goes to war with Baluchistan, and I know that, I can go to war with Yemen, Where's and that's Baluch not collusion. Oh, they're, they're, they're actually... Eh. All right, they, uh, they killed my ships. All right. Ships, eh? uh -huh. Achieve religious unity. Gain 10 prestige. That seems proportional. Mawa, just give me military access, man. I Thank think that, you. That should be the next DLC. Like, fi fix missions. Missions could use a lot of work. A lot of them seem, like, very cost prohibitive. Like, if I, they should at least scale. If I'm at 51% religious unity, and it'll take me, like, 100 years to convert the other provinces, that should be worth more than 25 admin points and 10 prestige. Yeah. You know there'd be ways to abuse that. You, like, get poor religious unity, then you spin off a bunch of vassals, and then, oh, I've completed my mission. Since you guys ruin the game for everybody else. <laughs> well, it's not... <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh, no! no. Oh, what happened? Quill is no longer in sync, it says. What did you do, Quill? Nothing. I'm literally standing here just waiting for things to tick. All right. Well, let me save it. And I guess... Oh, hey, no, wait. Ooh, ah. Who unpaused it? No one? I didn't pause it. I didn't oh, touch uh, it. I paused at my end. You unpaused <laughs> it for us somehow. Okay, well, it's we've got to... Interesting. We've got to resync, so... All right. What's our episode timer at? Is it a full episode? No, it's yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, we're halfway. Oh, all right. So we'll have to glue things together. All right. All right. We'll You'll have to glue things together. I got to... Do my bullshit. <laughs> upload two episodes in one day. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Your life's so hard. That are both <laughs> named like episode 15 or something. 15 part and one, 15 part two, man. Yeah. Right. Uh, anyway. Do we exit the game? Yeah. Welcome back slash welcome back to wondering why I'm saying welcome back because everybody else just stitched their episodes together but my steam powered machine requires uh, the separate uploading of two videos for this. Hello. Uh, hi. Hi. Have a cool old-fashioned like swipe across the screen or something. <laughs> I really like those crossfades, uh, but XSplit's a bit, you know, it's it's no fuss, no muss, except when there's muss, in which case it's a lot of fuss. Can't you just yeah. use like Vegas? Just load it up in Vegas and yeah, but then like it's transcoded twice and it'll get all like. I mean, I... also I think they're in FLV, which Vegas doesn't like too much, but we'll see. There's also an issue with like. Uh, X split records in like variable frame rate or whatever, and mm. it, Sony can do it okay. But Premiere, it's like, welcome to Audio Desync Town. Oh yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Mm -mm. It's all right. People, they, they're relatively used to it by now. They should be. If they're not, I apologize. I mean, I don't even need to say it, but I'll just make this one unmonetized. There you go. You, so you get two videos for the price of one. Both free. <laughs> Very <laughs> true, yeah. <laughs> well, hold on. This is not free enough. <laughs> well, I don't know. They might have had that, like, two and a half minute long video for the thing that electrocutes your abs before the video, so. This is still around. Oh, you're supposed to use that on your abs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys. My ass looks fantastic, though. It really works. It really works. <laughs> I just wear it while I'm eating potato chips on the couch. <laughs> Probably should not openly badmouth advertisers. Probably you know? not, no. <laughs> hey, maybe it does really work. The Send worst one. is during election time when you have all the political ads on your... Oh, yeah. Network, and then they're like, I can't believe you have an ad for blood. And it's like, we have no control. No, I, I yeah, don't. yeah. What are you talking about? I go through and I pick the worst ones. <laughs> and there's, this is what I want everyone to see. Yeah. I want that one about head on. <laughs> Applied directly to forehead, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or on Twitch, sometimes people are like, come on, Northern Line, the same ad six times in a row. <laughs> you're like, yeah, oh, you're right. I didn't think about it. Let, let me boot up my ad rotation here. And, uh... you know, there's a, uh, a culture in Africa here called Yo Rumba. Yo Whoa. Yo Rumba. That's a, oh, it's 
pretty cool. Like, yo, Arumba. Yeah, no, I got it. Did yeah, you? Wait. Just, just checking. Oh! <laughs> I got it. Good. That's nice. All right, so I'm annexing. I guess I can't start another annex. That would be silly, because then I would have no diplomats for the next 17,000 years. Which is pretty much what I just did. Because apparently it's really slow, but... I could fabricate claims, but I still have no manpower, so I think I'm going to improve relations with my new forced vassal. Can we go to speed two? Thanks. Oh, yeah. It was on speed one? Yeah. <laughs> what up with that? Mm. Link will. Probably uh -huh. just the decent caused it to go to one, speed one. Mm. Do, 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 do. All right, Lucas Stan. Learn your lesson. You going to kick his butt? Yeah, I don't even care. Like, I just. One out of this war. So I'm just marching around. I c one thing, I can't complain about my leaders so far. I did get like one event that caused my legitimacy to go to like nothing for a while there. But I got the 543 leader and my air is a 434. It's not fantastic, but it's definitely it was, above average. Seems pretty good. Not going to complain. Seems pretty good. Oh, I still have nothing to do. Getting a little worried about Mamanis. I think we need a worldwide coalition against that guy. <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, we can't collude legally, but we could all independently come to the decision that something needs to be done. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any coalitions against you? Uh, Vagina Gar left their coalition against me. Yeah, so you got nothing. Go. Well, then you're not doing good enough. I've got three countries in a coalition against me. I'm just managing well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, conversions. I'll get more papal influence. No, oh, wait. Is, is there a track of buildings that allows you to get a higher uh, naval force limit? Mm-hmm. Like docks? Yep. The third, right. third one gives you plus one naval force limit, and then the, the two specialized ones give you force limit, too. Cool. I usually build up to docks. Just the third tier. I don't usually take the fourth tier. What is fourth tier? I always forget. Uh, lower ship cost and lower ship building time. Yeah, I don't care about that. I mean, the cost is nice, but... Eh. Gives you better local trade power. The the dock does, I mean. A little bit. Yeah, maybe maybe useful. At least, at least having one dock is good, just so you get the extra repair bonus. Yeah. I should put one dock in a really convenient location. Will AI, like, put the ships there um, by default or have a better chance to? No. So you have to remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys are very intelligent. Do you have a hard time remembering a province? Like one? Well, no, it's one province for this, and then, you know, ten numbers for this, and the formula for this, and... Yeah, but your ships get beat up, and you just put them in that one place. It's fine. Yeah, that's just the place you normally put your boats when you're not using them. No. Here's yeah. how you play EU4. <laughs> click the plus button until your number's bigger than theirs, and then click and drag and right-click where their smaller number is. Oh, okay. Well, that does work. <laughs> and then in war, say it doesn't. For after, after the war is uh, in your favor, click on their provinces, and uh, when you get as many provinces green as they'll let you, click the send demands button. Okay, peace time. War's over. Go home, boys. September 1482. I'm coming for you, Yemen. Be ready. Gujarat no longer considers me a rival. Is because I just whooped you? Oh, that's better. Now, the fact that some months are shorter than others doesn't have any effect on trade or anything, does it? Still get a same tick. As far as I can tell. Like, February doesn't, like, shortchange you or anything. You actually get more out of February per day. Costly trade embargoes. Holy Pegu, what the hell, man? You actually won that war? All right, we need to break our royal marriage. <laughs> Someone needs to die. I have three stability. I hate losing stability when I'm at three, because it's yeah. such a like it represents such a great cost. But I got it via an event. All right, I'll rival Malwa. Who are you allied with? Oh, too many people. Well, hmm. it's funny how different, like northeastern oh, Europe, you bastard. Versus our game. <laughs> what did you do, Mantis? 
He rivaled me. Oh, snap. <laughs> <sighs> all right. I remember you doing all your crazy I got to do it. I had I had no more uh no more rivals. Oh, really? Two of my rivals pulled out and they're like they're no longer a valid rival for you. You don't have like, to actually, rival like, someone. I kind of wish I hadn't rivaled you back because like I want local rivals I can beat up on, but f it. <laughs> Embargoing me doesn't really make much of a difference. Although I guess there's I don't think we have a Bengal. I am maybe. I was like, eh, yeah. let's just do that. Although I've abandoned that place a long time ago. I don't mind losing trade power in Bengal. Yeah, I don't even have trade power up there, really. Still. We'll have to do some more. Oh, I got some rebels. Maybe we could just let this go for, like, another couple of months here. It's a big ask. Make my life a little bit easier in the comments. What, because of the length of the video? Exactly. Hmm. And guess, we can accomplish more during that time. I guess that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Is it really a big deal for people to like click on one video then the other? Well, you know, a small contingent of people uh, won't even watch the video. They'll be just be they'll assume that this being in two parts means there's double the ads, and it's a decision that is going to happen forever in the future. <laughs> and then it sparks an enormous. This is any time there's any sort of change. It sparks an enormous debate in the comments because someone goes, watch the video before you comment, you dick. <laughs> and then somebody goes, yo, he wasn't being a dick. He just didn't know. Like, why are you such a dick? And then it's like, I wasn't a dick. You were being and it just <laughs> It distracts from the geopolitical stuff that we've got going on, you know? So, Nolan, do you have, like, PTSD from going to your comment <laughs> section? <laughs> Sometimes I do. have PTSD I, from comments? You get really upset about your comment section. It's funny. That's not, I, I let it roll off my back for the most part, but occasionally it gets to you, and I, I always appreciate the positive comments, and they, the positive commenters are the true people who lose, because they don't get the credit that they deserve, and the riffraff in the comments causes their comments to not get seen as often. But some silly commenters can spoil the broth for, uh, for other people, unfortunately. You know, I get enough comments about the fact that these videos are 20 minutes. Like, you don't understand. We have a fixed amount of time to record. So right, your yeah. choice is, like, you're not going to get nothing. any more content. <laughs> but this way, you get a daily video, which makes it nice and regular and is quite mm -hmm. good for lots of different reasons. It's like, yeah. there's not going to be any more content if we record longer. Right. It's, it's flattering. But, yeah, people are like, can you make the EU4 videos, like, twice as long? I'm like, yeah, but we'll make <laughs> half as many of them. So... <laughs> Yes, that's and you'll really have to remember to the videos only come out on like Monday, Wednesday, every other Friday. Yeah. When the moon is in the seventh house. Right, and then you, they'd never know when to expect it. So, yeah. versus having it at the same time every day. They also complain that we good. don't literally sync up all our clocks and release the video at literally the same time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, mine's random all the time. Like, I'm going to uh, start putting them out at 12.01 a.m. just to make sure that I'm first on the off the blocks. Yeah, that's fair. 12.01 a.m. New Zealand you're like, time. You're like that douche in um, The Price is Right. Wait, one dollar? <laughs> yeah, or one thousand and one dollars. <laughs> like the one dollar is when it's like, no, it's fine. You think everyone like overbid? All right, no, that's fair. If I bid a thousand, you're right after me. You bid a thousand and one, I will throat punch you. <laughs> yeah, fair. That's deserving of a throat punch, mm -hmm. I'd say. And then the next person goes a thousand and two. <laughs> and then your thousand and one is useless. <laughs> Unless, no, unless you get it, it right on. Yeah. Unless it's right on, yep. Hey, man, I was just bidding 1,001 because I, you know, read the Sears catalog all the time. Now, okay, so if the first person who bid $1 over is a douche, is the guy who did it to him a douche or a winner? I think he's a hero. Is he a hero? Okay. Yeah, because he, didn't, he yeah. didn't fire the first shot. But he's still a douche, right, isn't he? But, yeah, I think, he okay, it's so, like a vengeance. He's like the sheriff. So does like, exactly. Oh, you're going to play dirty, then, you know, this is what you're going to get. The so, first person who does a dollar interval is a douche the second person is a hero if a third person does it after that they're like some kind of anti-hero like batman figure it's but like a par parental thing which is like this is what happens when you, you get crazy like that guys in his defense though the third guy like at that point what you're talking about is that person is saying the product is either over or under a thousand so i'm either, either going to bid a thousand and three or a dollar there's no right. other winning move true yeah that it yeah that's so the, it's usually the third the person is just it. smart. Yeah. Or really stupid if they decide to bid something like 1500 Like, why would you do that? Out of honor? No. Honor nah, they wanted, and an they empty the sack is worth bonus. the sack. 
<laughs> Ferengi rule of acquisition. <laughs> I don't know the number, though. Hmm. All right, do we want to stop it now? Does this, this oh, meet yeah. your criteria? Yeah. Mm, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got to do... They're not happy yeah. about it. They can just go watch an Isaac video. We got lots of those. Yeah, you know, like four a day. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed the episodes, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. See you soon. <laughs>